Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game, Darkestville Castle. Uh, a game that, according to an opening uh, screen picture, has a cat mode. You might say, what does a cat mode mean in this situation? And I would say, I don't know. But I'm excited to find out. Cat mode. Of course I'm going to play in cat. Why would I not play in cat mode? Do I hate myself and others? Oh, epic Lalanda. Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. Ooh. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. He's rhyming! One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. So, you see those, uh... The townspeople saw this, yellow and their surprise was roots big. Roots going up to the castle? Inside Is that a castle a fallen star was a demon baby named... So it wasn't Sid. far off from the, uh... He was special, not like the average Antichrist kid. Antichrist thing. With a creepy look, and always chaos amid. Oh. Each year that That's passed, rough. he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, oh, chaotic, always causing pain. The problems of others for him were a game. You're the worst, he grew Sid. with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's oh. adventure starts to extend. Now. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Oh god, I mean, I know what you were going for here, but the meter was terrible, the rhymes were terrible, you were reaching for the language so hard, it made me sad for you. You know what, I'm not gonna hold it against you, it's still beautiful and cartoony, and you started with narration, so I can't hold, you know, I, I want to... Oh, we're doing opening credits, cool. Oh, that was the only opening credit. Well, obviously there's, you know, but I'm just saying uh, of actors. So is he the only one who gets a voice, or the only the other ones get voice credits later? Vector graphics, nice. Yeah, I don't know enough about game production that I can comment on what part of the process involves vector graphics. But you know, uh, I of course when I hear vector graphics, I'm like, oh, of course. Like the game Tempest and Tempest 2000, or um, Battle Zone. That's obviously not what they mean, but it is what I think of. All right, where to go, Hernan Silvestre Lopez? Okay, what have we got? <laughs> what? All right, this is the best thing I've ever seen. What? All right, so yeah, cat mode's the best thing ever. Let's see how far we can get in cat mode. Okay. Gotcha. What about that cane? Can I grab the cane? Actually, I don't know how to pick stuff up. Okay, wait. What about this door here? Nope. Okay. How long do you think it would take to just drive you crazy? Probably, probably not long, right? No. Oh, hey, it's a giant uh, evil fish. I feel like, and I don't want to judge them too harshly. Oh, nice! That's so convenient for uh, puzzle games. Can I switch this over to uh, not cat mode, or am I stuck in cat? I'm stuck in cat mode, unless I want to restart the game. I take that as a challenge. 
I shouldn't, though. Oh, does that not stay on once I've clicked on something? Oh, come on, guys. If I want to have clickable object mode on, just let me have clickable object mode on. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is largely non-functional. Although that's kind of the point of cat mode, isn't it? What is that thing? Alright, what's this? Is that a fox? Or a wolf? It's an elevator. Oh my god. Yeah, this is madness. Uh, what the hell? You bastard, you've locked me into my house. I mean, I know I'm the bad guy, so that's f Oh god, am I supposed to drop something on him? Because he's standing on the big X? Ugh, fine. Let's go in here. Oh, apparently not. Alright, so, uh, that elevate- that lever drops something on the X, so let's pull it. The game's not letting me pull it. For what reason? I'm sure a reason I would find out if I were not playing this on cat mode. Which, okay, I'm gonna stop cat mode in a second. I'm not a crazy person. But, uh... That's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's Archersaurus level awesome. Oh, hey! Here's a quiz! Uh, the vector graphics thing! Uh, wait, what the- Oh, look. That's what I'm supposed to do. You know, maybe I can keep going. Look, the different heads are look, talk, use. So now I go outside and, oh, nothing happened. Wow. This is amazing. Thank you. Don't say I never did any did you any favors, buddy. What I mean, I just I am agog. So do you think someone has played this entire game in in cat mode? Because I'm I so des you know what? I so desperately want to. Alright, so I've got a key now. So now I can use... How do I use items? Oh wait, I can look at the item too. Hell yes! Uh, let's pull this wolf switch. Let's see what that's about. Oh. We're gonna see how far we can get in cat mode. It's not gonna be far, but I'm very excited to find out. Oh, it kills that guy. I uh, just wanna see if I could save. I'm sure it's auto-saving every time I like go to a new room, but yeah. All right, so let's see, there's this machine here. I'm gonna talk to the machine. Nothing happened. Okay, can I use the machine? Oh, wait, the buttons are what I have to use. No, they're not. Let's open up the fridge, see what's in there. Oh. Damn it. Fragile boxes? I can't... No. Oh, evil demon child who grew up into an evil demon uh, adult. You're great. Oh, it's a key! What is that? Can I pick that up? I have a pin! I think. Oh, I've got a like a chicken, uh, a robo chick. Oh, it's a robot chicken. Oh my god, I didn't realize that was a reference to robot chicken. Wow, that took me a second, didn't it? Because I was about to say it's a rooster, but it's a robot. Well, no, obviously we know what this is a reference to. Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! So the guy who stands on the X goes through a tube and ends up in here. But how do I make that happen? 
and then I crush him with that lever? Okay, let's try it again. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong here. There's still nothing to do out there, which is mildly frustrating. Alright, let's, uh... Hey, buddy! No? Okay. So let's look at my inventory. I've got... It's a screwdriver head. That's a screwdriver head. We are good to go. So I believe there was a locked door over here I can now unlock. Which is going to be awesome. Alright. No. Obey me. Inventory. No? Oh. Damn. Okay. But that's the kitchen. I want to get food to feed the fish to make him hungry for reasons. Alright, maybe I can just open the door? No, that's wrong. Right, let's see if there's another locked door upstairs. That says king. I wonder why. Alright, so, uh, is this the king key? Oh, king key. I get it. No? I didn't. Oh! Okay, it's a bathroom. Soap! I would like that soap, see if we play. I would like that red cap thing this evil play? No? Oh, that's def Okay. Can I pick up some of the loose paper to create a fire later? No. What about these drawers? What about this underwear? Yeah, that, that was... I, we all knew that was a stretch. What's going on here? Okay, that's a... tub full of nonsense. No? Okay. What about the towel? I cannot take the towel. Alright. Good, good news. Uh, okay, obviously I need to open that somehow. But how? Can I scrape off that goop with the... Uh, wash it off with the soap. Duh. There we go. No? Come on, that was a good idea, wasn't it? What if I put the soap in the filthy tub and cleaned up the s filthy tub and, like, found a zombie hiding in there? Alright, yeah, I was going to do a quiz. Uh, so, there's this, uh, I was talking about vector graphics. Can you guess, uh, what my favorite vector graphics style game was way back in the day? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It uh, wasn't, like, Tempest or... Omega Race or something like that. It was a it was a game where you actually played as a dude made out of vector graphics. Uh, you know, having adventures. Can you tell me the name of that game? If you can, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention it, you will win a prize. Can I open that door or no? What about the clock? Alright, so I've gotten into the bathroom and I've got some soap. Head downstairs and see what we can do with some soap. Uh, no. Still don't know what that machine is. Can't work it. Hey, buddy. Do you want some soap? How about some soap, buddy? Yeah, that was pretty stupid. I mean, even. It's weird, I said meow WW, but then when I clicked on him, uh, it didn't say that. Alright, so he's not helpful. Fine, I'll leave. So I've got soap. Oh wait, put the soap put the soap in with the fish. Can I talk to the fish? Does the fish have anything to say? Alright, uh, so let's try the soap. Now comes the part of the old-timey puzzle game where you click every item on every location and just see what happens. Oh, can I just open that? Yes! The rest of the screwdriver! Oh, now we're cooking with gas! Hell yes! Is there something I needed to screw drive? You know, let's start with the, uh... 
Aha! I'll have to take the hinges off this door using a screwdriver. Clever goose. That was wrong. What about up here? Those look like... No, those don't look like screws. Nope. No. No? Yeah, that was a, was a stretch. Let's head downstairs. Uh, so the machine here. What's going on with it? Got a screwdriver. Okay. No, that was that was obviously not gonna work. Uh, what about the cage? No, the robot chicken. No. Crunch. Okay, there's got to be something we can do with the soap or the the robot, the screwdriver. Let's head back upstairs and try using the uh, screwdriver to pry all of the goop off of that. Uh, can I uh, can I open another drawer? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think so, but it was always nice to try. Upstairs we go. Oh wait, damn it! I didn't notice that piano. So do I have a talking teddy bear? Can I use it? No. All right. So that's just decoration. Fine. Uh, do I have a talking? Uh, so that's a statue of my teddy bear. Is he a talking teddy bear, or was he ever a talking teddy bear? Was he a talking teddy bear and then I had him stuffed? Or did I stuff with him with magic that turned him into a talking teddy bear? Or maybe it's just a regular teddy bear. Yeah, okay, it might just be a regular teddy bear. Aha, I'll use the screwdriver to open this up. Nice. Hell yes! Was that the el No, we kept the screwdriver. Alright, so what was the point of that? I can fix the trap door! I just don't know where to use the gears! Oh my god. Uh, this is a crazy thing I'm doing, but it's it's really starting to grow on me. Uh, okay. What about that ring on the... Uh... No, okay. So, can I clean off the goop with this? Alright. No! So, here's what I like about modern adventure games. Uh, they don't let make you carry an item around with you for six hours. Generally, they'll be, um, uh, they will be, and I think, uh, yesterday was a prime example of this. Like, the story sections will take place in discrete areas, and all of the items you need to complete that area will be found in that area, and then you won't bring, you won't, like, pick an item up at the beginning of the game. And then eight hours later, the game will be, Oh, did you pick up that item? Did you pick up those shoelaces back in your apartment in the first start of the game? Remember, you had to, like, lift up your bed and you would find a, uh, your mattress and you'd find a shoelace, like, used to tie a spring in place. And then you were supposed to pick up that shoelace and have the spring bounce out. And it didn't seem to do anything at the time. But eight hours later, you needed to use the shoelace to tie an atomic bomb to an alien spaceship and uh, and if you didn't have the shoelace the atomic bomb blew you up and the alien spaceship flew away instead of it flying away with the the bomb attached and blowing up uh, okay alright so where can I use gears with this thing alright so let's try using gears on the big machine it is a big machine after all Hell yes! Oh, we are almost done. We fixed the big machine. Ow. Oh, still missing something. Let's use the screwdriver to fix it. No. Let's, let's go upstairs and see if this works. No. Alright, that still works. Let's try the uh, other buttons now. I've, I've put the gears back on. This should be fixed. Did it work? It did not. God damn it. Alright, that's fine. What about the drop a wolf on him? Did I fix the drop a wolf on him lever? I did not. I know. God. You have to tell me I'm bad at this. Oh, maybe there's something behind the picture. Again, these are these are stretches. Oh wait, can I do double click to immediately teleport myself? Oh, 
It's so nice when they put that in games. Make me, you know, not make me watch. Him walk all the way there for no reason. I never did open the, uh, the way to the kitchen, did I? Yes, yes, yes. You want to talk about robot chicken. Everybody loves robot chicken. Fools. Did I just call everyone who likes robot chicken fools? That was accidental. I might have been accidentally too honest there. Uh, okay, what is this thing? Why do I click on the look? The look is never going to help me. I'm playing in cat mode. Okay. All right. Don't want to give up on cat mode, but it's getting more and more like I'm going to have to give up on cat. All right, so. Oh, what's that down there? Is that a thing I can pick up? God damn it. What about the coat? Yes! I got my coat! Did I need a coat? Hello, kind sir. Would you like a coat? Alright, that's a, that's a negatory on the coat. Oh, what if I use the screwdriver to shred the coat? Yeah, what if I use the screwdriver to pierce the soap? You know what? These None of these are good ideas. Alright, let's look around. Alright, we've got... That, the, oh, a chain! We've got a chain for the machine! Right there, hanging off the wheel of this thing. Alright, let's go finish fixing the machine, shall we? We can do this. This is happening. No, don't talk to it. Don't dream it. Be it! I, I like to, I like the idea of saying that confrontationally. Wait, that's wrong? Well, what the hell is this chain? Oh, wait, the bicycle up there, the bicycle wheel up there. Nope. I can't believe I'm not supposed to use a chain to get those wheels linked up and operating. What else is a chain going to be for? I could, I could, I could really do with a hint here, game. All right, what about the skeleton? Can I do something with the skeleton? No, that was silly. Oh, wait a minute, there's a drawer down here. Did not notice that earlier. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, okay. Hey, what do you want to bet he said? Oh, damn it, the drawer is struck, stuck. If only I could pry it open with a screwdriver. He, he didn't. I really thought that was a good idea, but uh, he did not say that. Hey, what about that corner there? Can you tear that off and... No, it's not a separate thing, is it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Meow indeed. All right. So I found on this motorcycle, I, I actually found a, uh, a bike chain, which is great, but I don't know what that gets me. What if I use the chain to saw through this thing, turning it into a post? What's that? That's not how chains or posts or saws work? Alright, strong point. Seriously though, the least satisfying part of any... Uh, oh, classic style adventure game is the part where you click every item on every part of the screen in hopes that something will happen. It's, it's never satisfying. Oh, wait a minute, I just had an idea. Put the shirt under the door, poke the keyhole through, blah 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 blah. That could work, right? Damn it! What if I find a piece of paper to do that with? Wait. Use the shirt as a rag. Damn it. Does this at least poke through the key through the keyhole? No. I thought it was going to be that puzzle. The puzzle I love. Alright, what about the book? Can I grab some... Can I steal some pages out of the book to use for it? No. Fine. The cane. I never picked up the cane. 
I didn't even know I could pick stuff up when I first found the cane. Wow, this is really hard to click on, isn't it? Thank you. Uh, I would like some of those papers from that drawer, please. No, I would like to turn on this lamp, please. No, I would like to pick up my bear, please. No. Can I open these doors? I guess not. All right, uh, back into the bathroom. Let's see if we can get the uh, shirt wet and do something with it. I can't pick up that sock or scarf or whatever? Weird. Dude does not keep an orderly castle. I'll say that. That is giving me my capsule comment about this guy's lifestyle. Okay. Alright, so here's my idea. Bear with me. Take the shirt. Dip it in the water to make it wet. Dip it in this water to make it wet. God damn it. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. Dip the shirt in the water to make it wet. Damn. Okay, well, we've got water. That has to be part of cleaning that thing off, right? No. Stop. Okay. Use the soap? I got nothing. I really have nothing. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Um... I think I can ask uh, people to watch me fumble around for only so long. Uh, but I am captivated that the guts it took them to put in uh, cat mode. I think that was a great idea. I'm really happy it's in the game, but uh, I'm obviously not going to beat the game in cat mode. Mo much as I would have loved to play this entire game in cat mode. <laughs> Beat the game in cat mode. It's it's just not going to happen. Oh, I'm so sad now. Wait, I haven't used the cane on the door. Oh, wait, what is that in there with him? Can I use the cane to grab that? Is that a sponge I can use to... I can put soap on and use to clean things? Yeah, that was a stretch, wasn't it? Can I just reach over and grab that? Obviously not. God, your creepy face is amazing, dude. Alright, so I'm gonna use one more thing on this door. It's not gonna work, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Come on. Yeah, I didn't even know what I thought I was doing. Alright, so, um, yeah. I've been Hidden Object Guru, and this has been Darkstville's Castles <laughs> Cat Mode! A mode where you <laughs> where every single line of dialogue and description in the game has been replaced with meowing. Rendering the game. I mean, I found a bunch of items and I used a bunch of items, but I've hit a wall. Obviously. Because I can't figure out how to fix that machine in the basement. And I really thought that was going to be the thing that saved the day. Oh, excuse me. Um, fin uh, fixing that thing in the basement. But I just, I can't figure out how to make it work. So... Uh, I mean, at some point, I guess I should just restart the game in normal mode and uh, actually play it fairly. But just as someone who is desperate to try the cat mode, I gotta say that the cat mode was bold and weird and interesting and, I mean, largely unplayable. Because, well, you saw. Uh, <laughs> this game is not so um, exclusively visual. That you can accomplish. Yes, I know. You have a lot to say about the wolf switch. Uh, it is It is not so visual that you can figure all of it out without uh, having any instructions. Much as I would have loved it to be. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's that. Um, if you had a good time, there's going to be buttons coming up telling you to subscribe or check out another video on the channel. If you have any questions, suggestions... Or you want to enter in that contest I had earlier, just drop a comment into the comment section below the video. For right now, uh, I have been the, uh, uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. And I just want to say that uh, you can join me back here for more very weird games. Uh, probably no more cat modes, but who can say? I will see you here for that, but until then... 
Au revoir. <laughs>